shooting 38% from downtown. Here comes L.B. LeBron James is a professional basketball player who is widely considered one of the greatest all-around players of all time and who won National Basketball Association championships with the Miami Heat in 2012 and 2013, the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2016, and the Los Angeles Lakers in 2020. Often referred to as King James, he has been around since 2003 and is becoming older. At the age of 36, he must be thinking about retiring. Skeptics say his career is over. We took a closer look. Is his career over? Is he quitting? Yes, he is definitely quitting. This is what we could find out. This is how LeBron James reacts to rumors about him quitting. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Is LeBron James quitting the NBA? We can without any doubt say that LeBron James is quitting the NBA. What we cannot be sure of is exactly when it will happen. What we are also sure of is that LeBron James will not play for Team USA again. Fans of Team USA should not expect to see LeBron James wearing red, white, and blue again. USA Basketball Managing Director Jerry Colangelo told ESPN's Keyshawn, J. Will, and Zubin on Wednesday, June 30th. You know, Father Time takes its toll, Colangelo said of the 36-year-old star. If you're a human being, your body is built to go so long depending on what your sport is, and then it's a downhill situation. LeBron made choices these last couple of Olympics not to participate because he's got a lot of things going on in his life. So he put in his time. He made a contribution that is appreciated, but I think his time is over. So we know that LeBron is definitely reaching the end of his career. Social Tracker.io shows that King James still enjoys a constant increase in followers at a rate of about 100,000 per day on Instagram. Not bad for someone who's nearing the end of his career. Take into account that this is happening after his controversial walk-off with six minutes left for his team after their loss to the Suns in June 2021. This move made quite the negative splash among his fans. Maybe it is old age bothering him. The rumors regarding LeBron quitting the NBA. We have scoured the internet and cannot find any rumors of LeBron James quitting his career in the NBA. His career is only over as far as his playing for the USA goes. He has lost interest in anything that does not pay well and at his age, who wouldn't have? LeBron is, however, also seeing a decline in his career, which means his time to quit the NBA is fast approaching. It may be this year, maybe next year, but we cannot see him sticking around past 2022. If he does quit, he will in all probability remain active in the NBA on some level, such as coaching, so we will see him around for many years to come. Let's have a look at how his career is showing a downward curve, the decline of the king. Earlier in 2021, the Los Angeles Lakers' Phoenix Suns series had this sense of inevitability from the very beginning. The prevailing thought was that no matter how energetic Chris Paul plays, no matter how ready for the moment Devin Booker and DeAndre Ayton are, you just couldn't shake the feeling that LeBron James was going to put his imprint on the series as usual. After all, the man has never lost in the first round. The Phoenix Suns may have had the better seed, the healthier team, and home court advantage, but they weren't the favorites in this story as both the NBA history books and sports books had it written. Game 5 was supposed to be LeBron James' defining moment in the series. Just another feather in his cap, if you will. The fact that the Los Angeles Lakers star had the odds stacked against him with Anthony Davis on the injury report just read as the perfect narrative. James talked the talk right after AD went down in Game 4, ready to take on the burden of carrying his squad through one decisive battle. For me, it's putting our team in position to be successful. It starts with my approach, James said. It starts with my accountability and trickles down to everybody else. These shoulders were built for a reason, and if it takes for me to put more on top of it, then so be it. Win, lose, or draw, I'm ready for the challenge. And after that, we were still subjected to an absolute purple and gold demolition by 30 points, something that even the worst LeBron James hater probably wouldn't have bet on happening. James has delivered time and again throughout his lengthy career. It has taken superhuman performances, all-time great NBA teams, or both to topple him in any playoff series. Every other rival has just been fodder waiting to get eaten up. But after 18 seasons and thousands of minutes of mileage logged on his body, LeBron James may no longer be formidable enough to meet the expectations that his broad shoulders have carried for nearly two decades. James has declined has been gradual. It has teetered just enough as he has aged to keep him at a level that still far exceeds how any mere mortal should be at that stage of his career. It has always been in the little things that you notice he's just not the same. In this Sun series, these little things don't seem so little anymore. It has been more blatant than it has ever been. There is one stat that stood out from the Los Angeles Lakers box score in Game 5. LeBron James played nearly 32 minutes, the most on the team, but somehow finished with zero free throw attempts. After touting his own shoulders as ready to carry his club, his aggressiveness 
seemed drained away from him like never before. In a game where he was basically by himself and with his back against the wall, the most physically imposing force in the NBA for his generation no longer had the ability to even get to the free throw line. Things are definitely changing for the King. To make things worse, there have been certain plays in this series that you're just not accustomed to seeing from LeBron James. There was an instance in the second quarter of Game 5, with his team desperately needing a bucket, that James went for his patented bully ball move in the paint. Nobody's supposed to take a bump from LeBron and still feel strong enough to contest his shot, let alone emphatically stuff him like Torrey Craig was able to do. He's also looking downright helpless on the defensive end. James has been left in the dust by campaign, the Phoenix Suns' newest folk hero, on more than a handful of occasions. Once one of the most dominant physical specimens on both ends of the floor, LeBron James has not even been able to block a single shot in his last eight playoff games. Gramps is struggling. Now, you may say that the Lakers star has been hampered by that ankle injury that has been plaguing him for months, but even that is such a telltale sign of his new normal. LeBron James getting seriously injured has never been a thing until his years in Los Angeles. This is just not one bad game. It is a decline. This is also the first time since the 2007-2008 season that James has scored on average less than 25.3 points per game. His field goals are down from 9.6 to 9.4. His field goal attempts are down from 19.5 to 18.4. His two-pointers are down and the list grows longer. Recounting James's missteps in this series isn't meant to disparage him or the Lakers' chances at pulling off the comeback. On the contrary, his newfound mortality made it much more compelling for us to watch and observe. With his gloss of invincibility gone, the challenge becomes greater than ever before as Game 6 and possibly 7 loomed. LeBron James is crashing back down to earth after being on a different plane of existence from the rest of his peers, but even then, he's still probably better than everyone else. We will all just have to sit back and watch him prove it. Let's hope I'm wrong. James is getting older. That is just a fact, and his basketball career must end at some stage. Even if he puts in some great performances, his career is drawing to a close. That is inevitable for all sports people. Whatever the case may be, he still entertains and will still be remembered as one of the best basketball players of all time. He would want to go out with a bang, so one might suggest he will want to be remembered for what he did in his last game ever, whatever that may be. There are absolutely no rumors about LeBron on quitting, so there's no official response from him anyway. The fact is, for now, King James will keep entertaining his fans. That is all we have time for today. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment below and tell us if you think James is done. When do you think he will call it quits? Thank you for watching, and remember to return for more. Until then, take care.